today I have a few trade ideas that I want. I got four trade ideas that I want to present to you really quickly here. Um, the first one is an RTY no upside risk trade with 24 days to go. I'm trying to do similar to what we were doing with the election, trying to get, trying to have some ideas today that expire before the end of the year. Uh, just start, just finish up um, with your positions at the end of the year, start off the new year fresh. Um, obviously not gonna be able to do that with, with everything, but this is just the thought process with some of the stuff I'm recommending today. Um, so no upside risk trade. First part of this trade is selling the 1910 and buying a 1915. So you can see that we are receiving just on the call side here, we're receiving $75 before fees and commissions. Max loss is 175. So keep that in mind. Max loss is 175 on the call side. Now to, to to finish the no risk upside risk part, you will have risk to the downside, but selling the 1690 and buying the 1670, so 20 point wide spread here, and doing two contracts on this one. Okay, so this is the two contracts here, and you can see that I would put this at 610. You can see it's jumping around, and then at that point you have you're getting 305 as your max your max profit. On the call side, your max loss before fees and commissions was 175. You were receiving 305. Right? So this is a no upside risk trade. You cannot lose to the upside with this trade. I really like this, this setup for this trade right here. I do think that the Russell was overdone, but I have this feeling that we're gonna stay um, elevated until this calendar year is over. Um, I, I could be wrong, so that's why I'm trying to play both sides a little bit and then obviously still be pretty far away. It would have to drop pretty far for this to be a problem. And you can see that the max loss on this is under um, 1,700. So I really like this trade for the amount of positions that we're doing. And if we go to this curve view, you'll see how this looks. This is where, how you can see, you got no upside risk. This is the at the money line here. So if it goes down, you can still win as long as it doesn't go past this sh short strike. And then if it goes up, it can go all the way past all of these and you still win, as you can tell by this wind zone, this green area here. All right. So this is why I call it a no upside risk trade. Uh, we talk about this a lot in course two. All right. So. Next trade I was looking at this morning is an ES trade. Looking at an ES trade on the call side this time. And it's down a little bit, but I still, once again, think we are elevated. And I was looking at this with 24 days to go as well. And let's see here if we can get this to populate. It's taking a second for some particular reason. All right, there we go. All right, so on this one, it was a call spread looking to sell the 38.10, and it was, a, it, was, it was a little better this morning, so I would let it come to me. All right, so selling the 38.10, which is a 10 delta, buying the 38.30, this is just a 20-point wide spread, and this morning I was looking at it for 165. I would do it for 165 and just let it come to me. If that's the case, you, you, you can get over $70 after fees and commissions, as you can see here. This is 175, and I like this ratio. You, you know that we normally, when we're doing a standard doing way um, call spread on these indexes, we're doing 50 points wide. This is a 20 point wide at the 10 delta, and we are and we're receiving way more than we want to receive at least $50. We're receiving 75 if you can get it filled at the 165. If we pop back up today, all right. So that is that trade. The next trade that I have this morning is a gold trade. You can see that a, earlier gold was down quite a bit. Let's see what it's doing right now. Um, gold is down almost uh, basically uh, three quarters of a percent. And let's see what gold has been doing since for the last week. It's been kind of um, struggling on the downside. As you can see there, this is going to be the fourth or fifth straight down day. Let me try to highlight this a little bit. There we go. So that's, uh, yeah, this is going to be the, the fifth down day in a row. 
And so if it continues that way, so that's 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 interesting there. And so I'm looking to sell a put spread in this with how many days ago? 28 days ago. So still st sticking with the inside the expiring before the end of the month, or excuse me, the year. And then we have selling the 1655 and buying the 1640. So on the Tastyworks platform, I normally like to recommend things that you can have at least three different adjustments. If you haven't seen that email or that uh, video that I sent out regarding how to adjust options on futures with Tastyworks at this point, um, please take a look at that. I normally would do that. In this case, I'm only doing a 15 point wide. So you only have two options here, a big adjustment or take off and adjust like that with two transactions. Um, I've talked to, I talked to Tastyworks over the uh, holiday um, and they, they claim that they are going to be um, bringing out a big development early next year and it will have the ability to adjust any way you want on options on futures. Um, so I talked to Tom and I talked to um, Scott who is the CEO of the Tastyworks part and then you, if you know Tastyworks you know of Tom and so that's what they gave me. I did write a letter uh, that I said that I was going to send to everybody who uses Tastyworks to send out. I, I, I completed that letter. I decided not to send it out to you over the weekend because I did. I was able to talk to him. But I think we're going to send that letter out anyway in mid-December at least so that we can uh, keep it on their minds so that they will change, um, you know, change it so that we could trade any or adjust any way we want on options on futures and that will uh, reduce risk. When you can adjust any way you want, you reduce risk big time because you can roll out um, anything or you can roll up or away any way you want. And that's 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 key with um, risk management as well. All right, so this is the trade I was looking at, selling the 1655, buying the 1640, and doing it for at least 110. So I would let it come to me. You can see that your max loss is under 1400, and you would get at least $100, 101 after fees, depending on your commissions. If you're using Tastyworks, that will be the case. All right, so the last trade I have is going. Um, going long on the Nasdaq. I believe this Nasdaq is going to um, is going to finish up at all time highs. So I am looking to be bullish for the rest of this year on it. So 24 days to go. And we look at this here. I'm selling the selling the um, 11380. It's going to be a better price now. It should um, because it was up when I was looking at this this morning. So selling the three 11,380, buying the 11,320, and this right here, yes, I was looking at it for 625, you can get it for six uh, or seven right now. I really like this trade with max loss just over a thousand, potential max loss just over a thousand, and after fees and commissions, you're getting at least 130, 133 here, as you can see on the Tastyworks platform. So I like that uh, risk reward there, and all right, so that is the last trade idea I have this morning. I'm going to check with um, Ernie on the call and see if he has any trade ideas uh, that he want to share or any thoughts you want to share this morning, Ernie. Good morning, everybody. No, I'm good to go. You covered it. You covered a great deal. So we're good. I look forward to seeing you guys Wednesday night. This is Zoom here. I like this play, and I would like to be bullish on this, um, even though – it um, it's had an amazing run. Let me see here, and let's go here. This is it's coming out the day after the bell. So, man, let me see here. If I wanted to be bullish on this, the expected move is seventy dollars. So that would take it about four ten. If we go down to four ten, I just see what that looks like here. Um, 410 is right here at this about the 16 delta. If we try this, we try this 15 delta here and 4025. 
Um, it's about five point wide spread. This is a pretty good trade for ninety dollars over four uh, four ten. Uh, that's more than twelve percent. And let's look at the low on this really quickly. Uh, the recent low. All right, so let's go from over here. That's about three sixty five. Um, man, that would be a pretty big drop. Um, and I, I feel like it's done well um, based on we're still in this you know pandemic. I like this trade here. I would look to do this type of trade and then stay bullish with it if it if we had to roll it out. So let me see real quick here. Um, and I really like this trade. All right, so 105 is a good is a good price. Um, actually, let me make sure I'm doing this right. There we go. Um, so that's the 105. Let's see if we can get that 105. Uh, for 100, I like this. I'm going to send this now. All right. So the 4075, uh, 4025. So it's a five point wide spread. We, if we can get filled, we'll get $105 on a $5 wide spread. I like that. We're outside of the expected move. And um, so this is actually nice. This is that position that we were doing Zoom with everyone and uh, Bitcoin has shot up. Let me bring up Bitcoin really quickly. Um, Bitcoin has shot up to, oh, wow, it's about to hit 20,000 again. And that's helping this riot chain that or riot block, blockchain that we have. We were down big on Friday. Now we're back up quite a bit and I really like that 62% gain in a very short period of time. I might look to uh, um, the ring the register on that for a second. Hey, pumpkin, and and to talk on my book. All right, pumpkin, I love you. Um, all right, so this I'm gonna look to take that off. Actually, you can see this uh, soybeans trade that we we did is working well for soybeans finally fell out of bed after being up ridiculously for a long time.